crafty friends. My name is Kimberly Smith and I'm the paper chef. My chair is really short. <laughs> I need to get a stool because my item is really tall, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to chat about Stampin' Up! today. I want to go over the retiring colors that you're maybe never going to see again, but you never know because sometimes colors come back. So the ones that if you want to stock up on now, the ones that are going to be retiring and not part of the next catalog, I'm going to show you the new colors that are going to be part of the next catalog. I wanted to mention about the catalog request. I'll do that a few times throughout this video. And I'm going to tell you something very sad about a tool that is going away that you're going to want to get if you don't already have it. So let's get started. And chat as you come in and I'll just try to, I'm going to start by standing up and then I'm going to sit on this little tiny, tiny stool that's like way down. I'm going to be like really short. I am excited about some of the new colors. I'm sad about some of the colors leaving and I'm happy about some of the colors leaving and I'm sad about some of the new colors. So like it goes both ways. I'm going to tell you what I think about every color and you might be surprised. You might not be. So let's see. Would you like to, I see a bunch of you coming in. And I'm going to just going to, sorry, I know that's, oh, I'm not going to be able to say hi unless I say hi right away. So like I could see Hilda and Mary and Yvonne, but if you, if you said hello before Hilda, Mary and Yvonne, I, and Sandra, right? Aloha from Hawaii. I can't see your comment anymore because when I go over there, my, my hand becomes like huge and I don't want to scroll and I don't have any assistance. I am a one woman show. So would you like to see the colors that are leaving? Or would you like to see the new colors first? The retiring colors? Retiring? And I also want to know if this is backwards. You know, or is it just backwards for me? Or would you like to see new? So retiring or new? Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lara. So we'll just let you vote on that. And now what I've done is I've printed them out. Hi, Bonnie from Texas. And I'm just going to go through my pages. They're my props. I also have a little video or a reel with some music, and I put that on my Facebook, my Instagram. Okay, retiring, that's what you wanna see first. And um, you can read it forward, good, awesome, thank you for letting me know. I put them on Facebook, Instagram, and all that, I put some, I put some videos, you may have already seen it. But one of my mentors, like I have mentors, they don't know they're my mentors. People I listen to online they, that I've never met. And one of them is, a, he's kind of obnoxious, right, but he's, He's really good at like talking about marketing and his name's Grant Cardone. So he doesn't know he's my mentor, but he's my mentor. He said something like, assume that everything that you send out to people, is everything you post on social media, he said, always assume nobody sees it. And I, I, I was like, what great advice? Because I started about a month ago listening to that advice and I reposted things many times and I noticed that like all different people were commenting in different places, even though I posted it like the same, the day before. So for this I, retiring colors, I've already posted this four times. You may probably haven't seen it. And even though I've posted it four times already. I posted it on YouTube already as a short video. I posted it on Facebook as a post. I posted on Instagram. So in my stories, maybe that's five times. So anyway, so I'm assuming that maybe not everyone has seen it and I'm just going over it again. So that's good advice. Bermuda Bay is what I'm most sad about, guys. This is like, I, I made my whole room a, a similar shade of this color. You can see that I love teal. That's like the color of my coffee machine. I, this is like my, my actual color of my room is called aquamarine. I got that at Lowe's, but it's like this. Those shades of blues and teals are just amazing. And I, all the stuff in my room would, would go with this Bermuda Bay. So I'm saddest about this leaving. It is what it is. So I'm just going to get one extra pack of cardstock and be done with it. I, I bought all the cardstock recently. See, all the cardstock. So here it is. Hey, it doesn't match my printer, does it? You know why? Um, there's, there's something about the printer ink that doesn't match the exact color like it, when you get it. But this is close enough, right? This is what it really looks like with the Stampin' Up. My color is, my printer's an RGB and, and the colors, the codes they gave us. Anyway, it, do, it doesn't matter. It just just say, let's just say the colors get a little distorted when you print them but you get the idea. It's a shade of teal, okay? Another retiring color. So bottom line, you like these colors? I just bought every color there was, but I'm gonna get an extra pack of this. I'm not getting an extra pack of So Saffron because I probably, 
won't use it that much. I'm not that sad about it going because we're getting something that's very similar. It's a nice, cute, a, a nicer, nicer lemon, lemony color. So I'll show you that. So I'm not that sad about this color leaving. Bottom line, you like these card, you like cardstock now because everybody knows there's 55,000 demonstrators worldwide. They all know about these colors that are retiring. That I'm just letting the customers know now. We were told yesterday people are going to start stocking up, and you're going to be like, "Oh wow, they ran out of cardstock. They ran out of ink." So you want to get your cardstock, your reinkers, your pen, your markers, whatever you want to. Well, maybe not markers. I'm going to tell you about markers later. Maybe you want to get the ink pads and the and the re, one reinker, maybe a set of blends. If there are blends, there are blends for this one. You know, just get them, get your stuff that you like if you like these colors. Blushing Bride, I am not sad to see this color go. It is not a happy pink. It's a beautiful pink. It's better than Petal Pink. I wish Petal Pink would go, but I'm stuck with it again. And it's Petal Pink is not a happy pink, but this one is like kind of a dull pink. We do have another pink coming that's a happier pink, but it's sort of still dull. I really miss what's called pink pirouette, powder pink. I miss those really happy pinks that would be like a baby girl pink. But it is what it is. These are, this is cool. I mean, it's it's going. And the thing is, the thing about it is you might have products that you've invested in, like certain designer series papers that use this color, in which case you want to stock up on some cardstock to protect your investment of all the paper that goes with it. Sahara Sand, I'm just going to go ahead and have a seat now. I'm going to get shorter. Not sad to see it go. It's it's a nice sandy color, but we have we we still have crumb cake. Crumb cake's a staple. It's a basic. We have other colors that are neutrals. We so we don't really need this color in our collection. And there weren't a lot of things that particularly had this color in it. Like not a lot of designer series paper papers had this color included. Mint macaron. I'm sad to see go because again, it's one of those shades of greens and blues that I love so much. There, I have so many things that are that have this color in it. So many nautical papers, so many so many nice things. That ribbons I have, I, I'm I'm invested in this color. So at, so far, this would be the second pack of of pack of cardstock that I would go ahead and get, knowing that I'm not going to be able to get the cardstock again once it goes out. Well, again until it comes back, because some colors come back. So let's see. The mint, I put the mint over here with the, this one. Okay, see, oh, this one matches my cut, my printer better. So yeah, this, this I would, this I would stock up on. Another pack. So yeah, really. You can see I'm not too sad about the colors, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to use, Janet, you know me, I use everything. So am I going to use these colors going forward? Well, you know, in the next kit, the next kit, which is this one, I have already included a color I knew was coming. The kit for April. It is going, it's based on the Irresistible Blooms bundle and there's a color, Lost Lagoon, I've already put in this kit. And I included a bunch of cardstock that's, not cardstock, I, I included a bunch of designer shades paper. So yeah, for the next couple months, I'll probably use these, but then after that, I'm gonna still use them for my personal use but I probably won't put them in videos. There's gonna to be too many new things to show you that I probably won't be using these, right? So I have to show you the new things. Mary Merlot, na 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 hey, 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 goodbye. I mean, it's good if you wanna make, a, if you wanna color a cup of wine, you know, for a couple stamp sets, but I hardly ever use this color. Like it's, it's, it's a nice color for holiday time. I mean, it's a nice regal color, but Eh, I'm not sad to see this color go. And we have a nice berry color taking its place. Now, soft succulent's going because most of the ink colors are going. And so it's going to go. But it's not, it's very close to Mint Macron, right? When I just, the one I just showed you. I'm kind of tired of the ink colors. One ink color stayed. I'm glad because I, I'm glad it stayed only because I have a lot of paper that goes with it. But, you know, it's time. We've had two years of these ink colors. I did a whole series on Eden's Garden. If you got some of that specialty paper, you were invested in soft succulent and, you know, the colors and like the evening evergreen and things that go with this. So yeah, it's okay. These two, really good complimentary colors. I'm not sad to see either one of these colors going. They are great for Eden's Garden and for, uh, this one had, there's tidings of Christmas. There was some nice paper. 
I have a lot to go with these, but they don't make me happy. Colors should evoke emotion. And the thing is, but colors are also not just for you. So I want to sustain my creativity and have fun crafting while I like colors, but there's other colors that the designers came up with that go really well together. So I use these a lot in my designs because my customers liked them and my paper was designed to go well with these. So I, I did embrace it while, while it lasted, but I'm not, I'm not sad to see it go. Uh, the only reason I don't want this one to go, although I'm not gonna go running and buying any paper, is because we don't really have a good peach color. Like there's no replacement for it. This, this color is very unique. And so when you want to color in peaches and things, I mean, I'm gonna keep my markers. By the way, I'm gonna definitely be using my inks. You've seen me use Mango Melody. I didn't know that the blends were, they didn't make the blends anymore. That's probably why, because they were retiring the color and we didn't know it. But I'm gonna keep that color of ink, definitely Mango Melody, because I'm, I have so many papers invested in it. I'm gonna keep this color of ink because it's something that I have a lot of things that go with it. All right, this one, it's a happy pink. I'm sad to see it go. It's a nice pink color. It's one of the ink colors, but I'm, I'm, I'm so, I have so many things. Celebrate everything, designer series paper. I bought so many packs of that. I gave a lot of it away in my kits, but boy, I really bought a lot of that paper. Uh, let's see what else. Flowers and more. It's a host paper. I've been putting it in all my kits. This color is in all of this. There's a piece of pink in all of this, and you can always, there was whimsy and wonder used this one. So I'm liking this pink, and I'm sad to see it go. I already have probably a couple packs of it, though, so. I have a pack here and then I have another pack because I kept a pack of all the ink colors. Plus I have a bunch of ink color combination packs. So that might be a good thing to invest in if you just want a few sheets of pale papaya, a few sheets of evening evergreen, soft succulent, and polished pink. Get a variety pack of ink color paper. Now, one of those colors is staying. One of the ink colors is staying. So I'll show you that in a minute. All right, soft suede. Eh, it's okay. We have crumb cake, it's very similar. It can go, I mean, mm -hmm. Why do we have to retire so many colors? Well, every year we get five new ink colors, so five colors have to go unless one of them stays into another collection, and then we, but we still have to replace. We always have five new colors. Then if we're gonna have any new colors in our color refresh, which we do, you have to get rid of some old colors or we can't make room for new colors, which means new fresh designs, new papers, new products, new ribbons, new embellishments. So this one, it's okay that Rich Razzleberry is going. We have something almost exactly like it coming. So don't worry that it's going. Something came back that has berries in it that looks almost just like this. Mango Melody. I'm sad, guys, because you know how much I use this for, like, playing in the rain. We just did a whole month of playing in the rain. Where are all my playing in the rain cards? Look how much I use this color. We just had, here's some cards I made with the bingo. You can color the turtle. I have blends this color and ink and, I mean, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I'm sad to see Mango Melody go. And it's our only other peach. Or it's not really peach. It's kind of a yellow. But we know pale papaya is going. And now we don't have a peach. And we didn't get a new orange. I'm surprised we didn't get a new orange. Yeah, guys. If you, do you like nature's prints? That that paper? that Or that whole suite? Sun, it's called Sun Prints. Designer Series Paper. And then the, the stamp set that went along with it was called Nature's Prints. And I had a whole course, I still do. It's, it's gonna be up there probably forever unless they ever take it down. But I, on Udemy, I did a whole card making workshop on the Sun Prince Designer Series paper for all the cards. The, car, the course was called, is called, it's not like it was, it's still there. E creating easel fold cards. And in that, I used so much Pacific Point paper. It looked really good with Sun Prince. I'm not only gonna stack up on this card stack, but some more Sun Prince paper because I love, I love mass producing cards like that. So yeah, sad to see this one go. But so far, you know, the only ones I'm really sad about are the the Macron, the Bermuda Bay in this one. And the others are like, and the Mango Melody, eh, okay. And then lastly, Pear Pizzazz, oh well. I hardly ever used it. It wasn't really in many of the products that I work on, but it's going. So question, right? This was from my video too. So which is yours? Which is your favorite? Of the ones that are retiring, which is your favorite? Retiring forever or going away because they've been around for two years. This one is mine. 
of all of the ones I just mentioned. Retiring colors. All right, so before we get into the new colors, it is time to tell you about the Stamparatus going away. I am not happy about this, guys. I, d I don't even understand why. Yeah, so Janet's also saying for me to pay. I mean, why, 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 right? There could be many reasons. There could be speculation as to why. I do not know the answer, so I'm not going to speculate as to why. I will say that I could speculate, like, like one thing that has nothing to do with, like, the things that are going around the rumors as to why. But one thing I might say is, like, whenever you have something like a, a big machine, like the stamp cut and emboss machine or the mini machine of any kind of tool, a trimmer, uh, simply scored, right? Any of those tools, unless you're someone like me who buys like two of each of those tools, like I have two of, you know, where's it at? Wrong drawer. Got to get used to which drawers everything in. Okay. I have two of these, the simply scored, and I have two of the trimmers, two of the die cutting machines. But what I'm saying is whenever you have a tool like this, like this, this is the Stamparatus, most people only buy one. And after it's been around for a few years, then most demonstrators have purchased the one that they're going to purchase. And maybe the sales went down because of that. So that's my only speculation. I don't want to speculate about other things that people are speculating on as to why this is going away. But go ahead, feel free to, because it's a chat. So you can feel free to speculate all you want. The Stamparatus is an excellent tool. It's the fourth stamp positioning tool I've purchased in my crafting career. I've only been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for like six years. I've had ones that used to, that were made with sponges that you, like there's a platform and you push down on the sponges. And I have other ones that had hinges and I had two, two different ones that had hinges from two companies. And ironically, I just sold one of those re recently, like way back. And um, my old ones, I mean, I, did, I got rid of my old ones. And I didn't know that they were getting rid of this. And then this one is the best, though. Like of the four I've tried, and I'm not just saying that because I sell them. All right. This is the best because it has two platforms. It's a stamp positioning tool. And it has one platform that goes. So it has one that goes one direction and one that goes the other. And they used to let us buy extra plates for these, which was pretty cool. So I have an extra couple plates. They, they still let you purchase grid paper, which is on sale right now. Not on sale. It's um, for sale, I should say. It's for sale right now. You get extra grid paper. I bought a lot extra of that. You can get, they have these. You can get foam mats. And my magnets did break, and I should have covered them better with washi tape. But you can get foam mats for these. So how does it work, and what is it? Why, what's the big deal about it? I, I'm, this is not a crafting video. This is a chatting video. But I will show you. I'm going to grab a stamp from my paper pumpkin kit. It's the one that we made stencils out of. So if you saw that video, you may have seen me creating stencils with the scan and cut. The way the stamp positioning tool works, the stamp red is, you, you just stick your stamp onto the, onto the plate. And then you put your paper down and you stamp. You ink it up and you stamp. Okay, say you didn't get enough ink on it. You would just re-ink it, right? Tap, tap, tap some more ink and stamp it again. And it's in the same position. So you can stamp and get your perfect stamp every time. Then if you have a card design where you're making like 50 of the same card, which I do often for swaps and things, or 40 of the same card, you could then put the, you could put your stamp, your critter say, like if you were gonna, and then you put your sentiment on another plate and then that could go up like this and you ink that up in a different color. I mean, the list goes on about how cool it is, but one other thing you can do with this one that you can't do with other stamp positioning tools is that you can, if you like, there's a, there's a stamp set called borders to backgrounds, backgrounds to borders or something like that. And you, we, we took it off. We've done some stuff with that in this, in my channel. And we, we moved, we moved it down, right? Cause this is a hinge. So there's two plates and lots of hinges and you can move it down like an inch at a time. And you can make a perfectly layered card with all kinds of lines for your stamps. So I'm sad this is going. This is a $49 tool. You get the stamp, stamparatus plate, base plate, and then you get the two, the two plates, and you get the instructions, and I'm not sure if you get grid paper the first time, or if you have to buy an extra pack of grid paper. I think it comes with a little bit of grid paper. You get the foam mat, but you'd wanna get yourself an extra foam mat, especially because this is good for crafting in general. Not as good as the silicone sheet, but it's good for like, for having a flat crafting surface. Then the magnets are an extra 10 or $12. I'm gonna be getting some extra magnets. I'm gonna keep on using this tool. It's retired, it's retiring, it's going away, but I'm gonna keep using it. If you don't already have one, I think personally, 
if you're serious about stamping, you're gonna need one. It's really great. Now, as opposed to, there's your, here's your other option. Just get a set of stamping blocks. The price of those is going up, the stamping blocks, in the next catalog. I will tell you that. The price of a few things are going up, like little card stocks, like a little bit, you know, like some things are a little bit due to whatever inflation or whatever reason, but then you also have tools that might be increasing with a little bit more. So you want to, if you want to get stamping blocks, you want to get them now, like not, not the next catalog. The next catalog, by the way, since we're chatting about it is May 2nd. So everything I'm telling you goes live May 2nd, the new colors I'm going to show you. But this right now, if you don't have a stamparatus to do your stamping on, right? And you don't have a, a thing like this to put it on, you are, you are left with using stamping blocks. Okay, we make all kinds of stamping blocks, but that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna ink, you're gonna put it on a stamping block, ink it up, and stamp. And then hello, if you mess up, you can't ever get it to go in the same spot twice. You not you can't position it in the same spot twice. But it's still it's all you need. If you're just getting started, just get some stamping blocks. At least get a stamping block D. All right, so bottom line, if you don't already have a stamparatus, don't wait because they're gonna run out of those. They're definitely, if, we, if we've if we just announced yesterday that the Stamparatus is retiring, there's no way, I mean, I very I, I, did, I highly doubt, I'm not gonna say there's no way, because I don't know, I don't know our inventory. They don't tell us that. They only tell us when the inventory is low, and it doesn't say it's on low inventory yet. It just says these are not gonna be on the new catalog, they're not going to be discounted in our next, our last chance sale, which I'll tell you about. That is uh, April 4th. We have a last, is April 4th? Yeah, April 4th, the day that we're allowed to pre-order as a demonstrator. We have a last chance sale. And these are not on that sale, the, the Stamparatus. They're on the last chance sale, but they're not like discounted, right? Yeah. Okay, so read best comment about what the, the whole thing about the, com read best comment. That's very interesting too. But it talks about the stamparatus reasons. All right, so let's let's just say you need one if you don't have one, but it will it will be there until so while supplies last. We're gonna have it while supplies last. After it's gone, it's gonna stay online until we run out. They said we're not just gonna it's gonna run out. Like meaning we're gonna keep selling them until we run out. But I don't think that will be, and I don't think it'll make it to May second. I just don't think so. All right, ready for this one? So now I'm gonna talk about the new catalog, new retiring colors. And I just want to mention right now. Okay, the magnets, thank you. Okay, good. All right, so the magnets, thank you for telling us that. The magnets are on sale and the grid paper, and, but I'm, of course, check your market because each market has different things on sale because of the different inventory levels. So April 4th, if you're if you're doing a pre-order and you're a demonstrator, that's when you can get some of those accessories for your stamp All right. Before I talk about the new colors, there, we have a new catalog coming out. Last year, I spent over $500 mailing the catalogs. I know it's shocking. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real here. You, you may not know this, but we have to pay for catalogs, Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. So I said this year I'm trying something different. Because last year when I sent catalogs automatically to my customers that had been my customers over the past several months before that, they either, A, some of them, some of them said they didn't get them. Some of them said they got them. They got more than one, not just from me, but from someone else. And then some of them were already demonstrators. So that means if you're a demonstrator, you would have already get one anyway from someone from Stampin' Up. They'll send you one. And then also there wasn't a lot of response. I'd write like all these emails, like, did you get the catalog? Did you, you know, following up emails, I didn't get any response at all, like, like zero. And I was like, I just spent $534. Like ser seriously, they're, they cost... Well, right now, this year, they cost $4.50 to ship to ship out for each each catalog. And I was like, I'm not doing that again. Like, I'm not spending $500 again. And because then people do not need two catalogs, right? Like, let's keep it real. So what I did is I did a form, and I'm only sending them automatically to one group of people. And the only automatic people that do not need to request one from me is my current, not, not a retired or not a canceled one. I have canceled Paper Punkin subscribers, but a current Paper Punkin subscriber. That means you, you got the last Paper Punkin kit. That means I know your address. Like your, your current address is where you got your last Paper Punkin kit. So if you're in the U.S. and you're one of my subscribers, then you will get a catalog from me without asking. Everyone else must ask because I'm not just going to like take $5 bills and just start throwing them up into the air. 
Hey, I'm throwing away money, right? I want you to ask for a catalog. That way I know I have your current address, A. I know you really would like a catalog. And then I actually was able to like take, just just today, two of my team members asked for a catalog and I was able to say, hey, do you know you get a catalog from Stampin' Up? And they said, no, I didn't know I'd get one. They have been a customer, they turned into a team member. So I was able to then say, when they requested a catalog, I was able to say to them, Stampin' Up has already sent you one. As soon as they revealed the catalog to us yesterday, they send out the catalogs. I don't know exactly when they go into the mail, but we have we each have a catalog, one catalog coming to us for free. So if you would like to join Stampin' Up and join my team, there is a link to do that in the description of this video as well as request a catalog. Now, if you join Stampin' Up, they send you automatically a case of the new catalogs and the old catalogs. I think if you join on April 4th, they send you both catalogs, pretty sure. And, and the mini catalog, which is also retiring May 1st. And um, let's see, grid paper and magnets on sale. You know what, Lynn, they may have seen it in a different market. So Lynn, what happens is someone might have said the grid paper and the magnets are on sale, but then they may be like in France or somewhere or like Germany. They might be like in Europe and they're on sale over in that market, but not in the US because I didn't see them on sale. Like I was already planning on buying them before. Be well, not before, but during the pre-order. Anyway, when you, when you join before May 2nd, before the catalog goes live, the nice thing is you get to see the products from the new catalog and put them in your starter kit. So you don't have to wait. I really like one of the, one of the perks of being a demonstrator is getting products before they go live. All right, I'm standing up again now. I'm gonna show you the new and returning colors. This is exciting. So the first one is Bubble Bath. It's pretty happy, it's a happy pink, but it's a little pale for me. I do prefer more of like the polished pink or the real, I would say the real pink, like the powder pink and the pink pirouette. Those are really cool pinks, but this is really cool new color. Bubble Bath, I, th I think it's gonna go really well. It's I like it way better than Petal Pink. It's gonna go really well with things and um, it's a nice new color. Part of, so if I remember what collection it belongs to, I will also tell you that. This one's gonna be part of the Subtles collection. So for example, Mitt Macron was in the Subtles collection and because it left the Subtles collection, we needed to replace it with something. So, like, so Saffron also left, left the Subtles collection. Hence, we see another yellow. Now we try to, when we come up with new colors, it's stamping up, fill in the gaps and come up with like have a whole color palette. And this was a cool yellow because like I said, so saffron's gone and now we have a, a nice, this is a pretty happy yellow. I mean, I'm I'm okay with this yellow. What do you guys think? It's, it's nice. I mean, it's pale, but it's still really nice. It's gonna be good for lemons and things like that. When you need, when you need a real yellow color. All right, now what does this remind you of? It, it kind of reminds me of, mm, it kind of reminds me of Pacific Point that's leaving, even though Pacific Point's a deeper blue. And I'm really liking this one. And it's, it's Azure, Azure Afternoon. I hope I'm saying it right. Azure, Azure Afternoon. Is it like as your, like maybe it says it like that. We'll see, see how to pronounce that. But that's a nice, it's a really nice blue. I'm happy with this color. So let me know what you think your favorite one is. Keep that in mind when you're looking at the new colors and then you can let me know in the comments what you think is the best new color. Pecan pie reminds me a lot of a color that retired last year. It was called cinnamon cider. And so this reminds me a lot of cinnamon cider. I'm liking it. It's a cool brown color. Part of our neutrals collection. All right, now we, we told you, I told you that Rich Razzleberry was leaving and now we have Berry Burst coming back. Let's see. No, that's the melon. Did I put the, maybe I put it over here, put it over here. Yeah, here we go. So this is Rich Razzleberry, the one that's retiring and this is Berry Burst, right? Pretty similar, pretty similar colors. I'm not, I'm not worried about the rich raspberry leaving, like I said, because we have a berry burst coming. Now, I think that the berry burst is, the reason I'm excited about this color coming back, although I'm not like totally into this color, is another color used to pair up with it. We'll see where it's coming, it's coming up soon. And, and I think this one too, and it's just gonna pair up with so many colors that are returning. And I'm, so I'm excited about this. Now, in my next workshop in April, which is already tomorrow, can you believe it's already tomorrow? We have a color, Pretty Peacock, that is in 
the new Hello Irresistible paper that you can buy. So I took a piece of Pretty Peacock specialty paper that I had. And I was able, it was, there was this peacock, beautiful peacock. Uh, I put it in one of my mystery boxes. It was just gorgeous though. I think I put it in a mystery box, but I haven't come across it in years. It was just, just this dye that made this beautiful peacock. And there was this specialty paper that went along with that. So this is pretty peacock specialty paper. I forget the name of the paper exactly, but I put every, I put a little piece in everybody's kit because I had some and I wanted to share it. And I put a little piece of pretty peacock and I also put a little piece of a color that I'm about to show you in a minute because it was part of this, it was one, these colors were part of these Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. That's the only reason I knew this was coming back. So I'm loving Pretty Peacock. I'm so happy it came back. It's such a gorgeous color. Now this is the one I'm happiest about. So go ahead and let me know which one you're happiest about, the new colors. Lemon Lime Twist is such a great party color. It goes so great with black and it goes great with that berry burst and it, it, just, it just goes great with so many things. There was a sweet, I, I guess the reason I'm really attached to this color is because I've only been around stamping up as a demonstrator for like six years and I, this was one of the colors that got me so into, into it. There was this Miss, it's called Miss and Magic Sweet and it had it in it too, so. Yeah, do I prefer, it, what kind of color printer? Color printer, Epson, I'll, I'll put a link to it, okay? my color printer because I just did all this with my color printer and the, I don't use a lot of ink because my ink is refillable on my color printer. And yes, it does take basic white cardstock and whisper white and all that stuff. I put cardstock in my printer all the time. It doesn't get stuck. You put it in the back feeder instead of the tray and it feeds straight through and nothing gets crooked and I'll link to my printer. All right, but this is my favorite color of the one of the ones that are coming back or new. So this is called a returning color. It's not a new color. It's a returning color. Okay. Blueberry bushel is awesome. Do you remember that snowman? I don't know if you've been around a while. Oh, it, it goes so well with this like winter. There was this like winter suite with the snowman in it with this super cute. And I, I bought a few packs of this and I probably put it in my sale recently, my BOGO. But I'm, it's okay. I'm glad that it's back. It's a happy blue and it reminds me a lot of Pacific Point as well. And so I'm, I'm happy we have, even though Pacific Point is leaving, that we have another bright Happy blue to take its place. Yep, okay, Yvonne's saying she loves blueberry bushel. And Diana's saying it's pretty too. So remember when I showed you a couple minutes ago, I said, hey, we have uh, four colors that are retiring. And I said there was pale papaya, evening evergreen, soft succulent, and polished pink. Well, the fifth color that was one of the in colors that's been around for two years, the fifth in color was fresh freesia. Now this is the only one of those in colors that's staying so it's not retiring. So it's been around for just two years and it's gonna to continue to stay. I'm happy because it's in my dandy designs of which I have a lot of, the flowers and more. It's a host paper and it's in a lot of, it's in a lot of things that I already have and it's a nice lavender type of color and I like it better than Purple Posy. And I don't need to run out and buy a lot of the cardstock because it's a returning color. It's gonna be around for a while. This is a returning color, Misty Moonlight. It's okay. It's not that happy of a blue. But we did have a bunch of blues going away, so we have a bunch of blues now taking its place. What I found interesting is this used to be an in color, just it's only been it's only been gone for one year and it's already back. It was part of the collection that had Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee. Okay, it was part of that group, Magenta Madness, I think it was, or the was it Magenta? Yeah, Magenta Madness, I believe, was the fifth part of that group grouping. And now it's back in the neutrals. It's part of the neutrals collection. So go figure. But it's, I'm happy it's returning. Here we go, Lost Lagoon. So one special surprise, you already know if you have my kit. And if you don't have my kit, I'm sort of still doing it until while supplies last or I have a couple more. May have to substitute a couple things, but I won't be substituting this. I do have enough Lost Lagoon. And, and the Hello Irresistible Designer Shades paper. I am working on this bundle for the whole month of April. As soon as I finish up this series, this Playing in the Rain series, then I'm gonna start on this series and it may go into May because I do understand that this bundle is, there are the stamp sets available, but not the dies until April 17th. 
So I'll take it slow and you can follow along with other floral sets that you may have while I do my workshop series. And you know, I encourage you to get this really awesome kit if you're in the US because I did put some surprises in it. I do some die cutting for you, labor of love. And here's another piece that I was gonna show you. So while we're talking about Lost Lagoon, I embossed a piece of Lost Lagoon and put it in everybody's kit using the new 3D embossing folders, which quickly went on back. I don't wanna say back order, but they quickly sold out, but they're coming back. I gave you each a frame. By the way, these frames, I believe are gonna be going away. I think I saw these on the last chance list. I forgot the name of them right now, but I put a bunch of these little die cuts in there for you. And I did, I did have some pretty peacock, but then I ran out. But I did emboss a piece. I started embossing it for everybody. I just want to make sure you get some other 3D embossing folder pieces. And this one is petal pink because it's one of the coordinating colors. So I made sure I gave everybody a piece of that and then a bunch of die cuts. And then you got some flowers and more paper and some design a daydream. Things that are going away. They're retiring very soon and it's all in your kit. So you got lots of samples of things. But anyway, that's Lost Lagoon. Happy to see that color come back. Super happy about it because I already, in fact, I was, so, I love this paper so much that I didn't even put it in my BOGO sale. And you know how much stuff was in my BOGO sale. This did not make it in there. I'm so glad I kept it because as I was keeping it, I found out that it was coming back. All right. Now are you ready for the, the new in colors guys. All right. This, these kind of are the same category to me as a couple years ago, we had in colors that were you guys remember terracotta tile and that whole group well pretty peacock was one of them and i did like pretty peacock but there were there were also some other ones like rococo rose and anyway i'm putting these in that category of blah okay like blah in colors however i'm still getting them i'm still doing an in color club and i love how well they go together so the five colors i'm going to show you i'm not that excited about but they go together really well and they're perfectly coordinated and we're gonna be using them all the time. And I love this one suite that has just these colors, okay? So, okay, good, I'm glad you're excited, Yvonne. Please tell me if you're excited about these colors because Yvonne's saying she's excited about copper clay. You know, maybe I'll be more excited once I start playing with it, but they're, so what, one thing is, you, I, we each have different palettes and my thing is I love the brights. And so these are not, these colors are not so bright. So copper clay, Wild wheat. <laughs> Beth said nailed it on the in color description. Blah. Now this one was our mini machine. Now I want to tell you something interesting about the mini machine. I, I kind of like this blue. I didn't think we need it with the azure afternoon and all that. But I mean, it, it, the thing about it is it goes really well with the, look how well these go. When you, when you see the five in colors together next to each other, when we start doing samples, you're going to see how well this goes. We had a mini machine. And it was part of these join up special. And I guess we made extras because we didn't know how many people would join that month. So you might've got this last month, but now they're gonna let the demonstrators purchase it April 4th and the new, while supplies last, limit one per demonstrator. We're allowed to buy this machine now that's this color, the mini machine. So it's a very pretty color for the machine. You know, I'm more excited about seeing it in the machine. All right, guys, it's almost like, re like I thought I finally got rid of a Cocoa Rose and it's like reincarnate here with this color. So moody mauve, and they're gonna be like, you're like, you're moody, right? I don't know, guys. Again, not my thing, but we, we I guess we needed a mauve. Why not have a mauve? Because we used to have a mauve in the Rococo Rose color was a mauve. Now it's back. And I mean, seriously, an in color that's like a neutral to me, it looks like a gray granite to me. It looks like smoky slate, you know, all that stuff. But it's a, it has a sort of pink, pink undertone to it. So it's okay. So, eh, all right. So once again, I need to just emphasize that these are our five new colors. And I will, I'll tell you about my in color club. I don't have like the details of the club worked out, but an in color club is like when we collect all the new in colors. So these are, this is it, copper clay. I'm gonna collect all the in colors over time. I'm doing the club myself. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing the club, meaning I'm gonna be building up my collection. If I don't, I don't know if I'll be getting these all right away. But so this is, these are the five new colors that are around for two years that is part of a little collection called the in color collection. 
Now with that in mind, we still have our fun color, current in colors, which are very cute and bright. So just to recall for you, like those are Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, uh, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Parakeet Party, which is a lot like Lemon Lime Twist, but Lemon Lime Twist is lighter. So we still have happy in colors. We just have five happy in colors and five in colors. All right, so what's your favorite? Want to know? Like out of the new and returning pile, which is your favorite? All right, now a few more things about the catalog. I, just from what I've seen in it. We, we will have, there, there are 12 new suites. I thought maybe it's not 12. It could be like 10 or 12 new suites. I'm going to say there's at least 12 papers, though, like new papers, plus some specialty papers. So I will, in May, announce a designer series paper share so you get to try out all the papers. I love, love, love about half the papers, like totally love. And then, then the, uh, some papers I'm like, you know, what were you thinking? And then a few papers I just like, like, you know what I mean? They're, they're beautiful. Like the paper that uses all the ink colors. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful combination. So I will be playing with those, those papers and getting them all. You, you can participate in the designer shares paper share and the deluxe share. So go ahead and sign up for my newsletter, go to paperchef.stampinup.net. And once you're on the newsletter, you'll get notified of my designer series paper share. My cardstock share, well, you get to try every new color of cardstock. Lost Lagoon, good for you. I'm glad that's your favorite. And you're going to try them all. We'll have an in-color club where you get to sample. Over a five-month period, you'll get to collect all the in-color products that go with that. Now, there's things that are going to go up in... Okay, I wish I had continued to sell the extra plates. Yes, I know, right? The extra plates for the Stamparatus, I agree. That was very useful. Now, it's like if you want extra plates, you got to buy a whole Stamparatus. Now, it's not like, you're like saying, well, how hard is it to just clean the plate? It's not that. That sometimes you have a project and it has so many parts to it. So you have, if you have two extra plates, you have eight surfaces. But now you, you still have four surfaces with the regular step rest. Anyway, what's going up? The cardstock's going up a little bit. Designer series paper's going up a little bit. Ink, refills, stamping blocks, different things like that. So if you were going to get colors that you know are carrying over, best to get those before they go up. Okay, now last I want to tell you about Paper Pumpkin and how that's going up and, you know, good and bad. So we have the part where if you get it in the mail, it's now, it's currently as of this month, if you will subscribe April 10th by, for, to get the new kit, you're not going to get this kit. You're going to get the next kit. You're going to get it for $23.50 including shipping. The whole, you know, kit of crafty goodness, right? Which is good. And then next year it's going to go up to $24.50 including shipping. So it's going up by $1.00. But the nice part is, and I did a whole, look how many cards I made. I did some videos on this too. I'm going to photograph these as well. Paper Pumpkin is, is a great deal if you get like a prepaid subscription. So if you're going to be placing an order and you get prepaid, it is cheaper. You, it'll be like $22.50 a month. But then you're going to have to pay, when you buy it prepaid, it gets put on your order. It gets added to your total order and you do pay shipping for that. Even though you're saving two dollars a month and getting one month free for if you spend if you buy an annual subscription, you still pay shipping on that. It kind of it kind of balances out, but the nice thing is then you can earn Stampin' Rewards, which are when you when you spend money at my store, you get ten percent Stampin' Rewards, and you you get those when you when your order is over one hundred fifty dollars, you earn Stampin' Rewards. So personally, I'm working on before this. Well, the catalog goes live. Demonstrators are allowed to pre-order on, we're only allowed to pre-order certain things and that is on May, I'm sorry, April 4th. Then the catalog is going to go live April, uh, May 2nd. So I've already picked out my suite for the next workshop. Not this coming month because we're doing Hello Irresistible. I mean, it's called Irresistible Blooms. That's my next workshop. And since I, I did something really cute with the playing in the rain with the animals and then I'm doing something floral, now I'm going to go back to cute again, and we're going to do Zoo Crew. So those of you who are demonstrators know what I'm talking about. I can't tell you any more except that it's called Zoo Crew. I mean, I can't show you the catalog. I'm not allowed to. In fact, I don't even have the catalog. But I was allowed to see the PDF yesterday, and I picked that out immediately. So we will be doing a whole month of workshop on that. Probably May slash June, because in May I'm going to be going away 
And so maybe it'll be a two month workshop or something, or we'll, we'll do it May and part of June. And then the next one we'll do June and part of July. And I'm thinking the one after that, I'm guessing if not a workshop, it'll be something that I do concentrate on. And it's the one with the balloons. And I already forgot the name, but it has, it's, it's the coolest paper ever. It's six by six designer series paper with lots of new ink colors in it. And I mean, lots of new colors, new re returning colors in it, I should say. Bright colors, it's it's balloons, it's birthday cards. So I'm either gonna use it for some kind of kind of birthday card club or card club or as a workshop. It's a really cool series. So I'll do that after I do the cute little animals. And by that time, we'll already have a holiday catalog out by then. And then we don't know what the workshops will be. I don't pick my workshops for the year. It's whatever, whatever I like. It's like when creativity strikes, you just answer, right? When the muse comes, you answer. And I don't know what those next workshops will be. So that's all for now. I want you to request a catalog if you're in the U.S. and you really want one and you're not a demonstrator. It is a free catalog, but don't request one if you're already getting one. If you're a demonstrator, you're already getting one. If you're already my Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you don't need to request one. I will send you one automatically. Any customer of mine that's not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, please use the request form so that I have your current address and I know you really want a catalog. And then I don't mind spending the money as long as somebody really wants one and I know that they don't already, are, you're not already getting one from, from another place. Okay, and if you've missed the boat and you forget this and you don't order a catalog now, so throughout the year I have workshops and designer shares, paper shares and different things. And at those times I let you go into my, whatever order form I have and I say, hey, for $2 more, I just, I just charge you the cost. Cause we still pay for catalogs. Right now it's 450 for us to mail them, but later it's gonna be $2 for me to get them or somewhere around that amount. And then I have to pay for shipping to me and then shipping to you. And so it's come, it comes out to like $9, you know, to, to send out the catalogs later. But whenever I have a workshop throughout the year, I just let you spend $2. So I say, hey, would you like a catalog for two extra dollars? And I, I always have about 20 people throughout the year, not that many, but about 20 people who say, oh yes, could you please just add it to my other workshop order? Other than that, I don't do what I used to do. It's just a, it's just a lesson learned. I learned a lot of things from running this business. And one of them is you, you have to keep your, your costs down. I used to like order everything, spend more than I make. <laughs> and now I'm trying to make more than I spend. And so I'm, I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey. I'm just teaching you some things that I learned along the way. And one thing is I have to be careful about how many, you know, catalogs I send out because I market, there's other ways of marketing, you know, that, throughout the year, as opposed to sending them all out at one time. So I can, st I'll still send them to you later if you missed this opportunity right now. I'm just not, I'm only doing this order form one time, this free order form one time, one time a year. The rest of the year, it'll just be like, do you want to add on a catalog? And then the, the mini catalogs, I send those like, we give those out like candy because those are cheap to mail and they're cheap to buy and they're easy, you know, very easy to send in a manila envelope for just a, the cost of a, you know, a few, few dollars. All right, that's all guys. I sorry I didn't get to say hi to everybody. I saw you guys had a nice lively chat and I appreciate that. And we'll see you again real soon on my channel as I finish up the Playing in the Rain series and as I start the new Irresistible Bloom series. So that's what's coming. So it's coming next. Have a great night, everybody.